Hello and welcome to another episode of the China 2012 blog. Today we're heading up to Shanghai. We're getting ready to hop on the bullet train over here. It's going to be a six and a half to about seven hour journey. Uh, so we'll get to see a lot of the Chinese countryside and I'll give you guys a peek at what the inside of a Chinese bullet train looks like. So let's go. So here it is, an inside peek at a Chinese bullet train. I'm going to take you guys on a little quick tour here. I beat the rat race. I'm the first one on board. So uh, let's take a look. So here's the general cabin area here. This is my seat here, seat 80, window seat. I've got my stuff in the overhead compartments here. We'll take you down here. So yeah, these trains are really nice. It's gonna be a nice ride. Restroom facility, another squat toilet, sink. So there it is folks, a quick tour of the Chinese bullet train and we'll talk to you again once we reach Shanghai. morning welcome to Shanghai we've got a full day on tap we're gonna check out People Square the Bund and the French concession also we're gonna swing by the uh, World Financial Center the observation deck it's the highest one in the world so that should be pretty cool and then if there's time we'll swing by some of the night markets so you guys can see that also it's about 20 degrees cooler up here it's only in the upper 40s today here in Shanghai which is kind of good in a way because I don't have to sweat all day so we're gonna hop on the metro and uh, get the day started just got off the metro here at uh, People's Park People Square here in Shanghai Hello. And I now have two new friends. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. What's your name? My name is Maggie. And we're we're, we're gonna you're gonna show me around, right? Yes. Yes. We're gonna go around and see different little parts of Shanghai because it's better to see it with the natives, right? <laughs> and then uh, here's my second friend over here. Wow. Say what's up. Hello. My name is Yan Yan. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So we're gonna they're gonna take me around and show me a little bit of the city, so I don't have to be wandering around here by myself. These guys have been really helpful today. They're showing me around, <laughs> and we're uh, going over American and Chinese culture. We're comparing stuff, and uh, we're learning from each other. They're teaching me a little bit of Chinese, and I'm teaching them some English. So yes. we're having fun today, right? We are also students. You are with my free free teacher, free teacher. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Walking down Naqing Road. This is a huge shopping uh, district here in Shanghai. We're on our way to the Bund. The sign says 1600 meters, so it shouldn't be too far away. A few minutes walking. So yeah, the Shanghai tour begins right here. Just got done having some very expensive tea. I'll explain more about that to you guys in the vlog later. But uh, still going to head over to the tower. Uh, it's about 3 o'clock now. I've got two more new friends with me. Hopefully, let's see if they'll say hello. They're a little bashful. They don't want to go on camera. But uh, it's easy to meet friends here in China. So they're walking on, on my side right now, but they're, they're camera shy. So I'm not going to bother them too much. But uh, I'm just going to walk down here to the Bund. Famous Shanghai skyline. Enjoy. So this tower you see right here, the tall one is the Shanghai World Financial Center. We'll be up there later on the observatory and then we'll check out the view from up there. Alright, so you guys would not believe what I just went through. Uh, got some money out of the ATM, lost my bank card and had to retrace my steps across Shanghai to get my bank card back. Go to the bank, obviously there's a language barrier, they had to bring somebody that spoke English. Uh, after about 30 minutes of trying to decipher exactly what was happening, they were able to open the ATM and get my card out. They had to photocopy my passport. I had to sign all these papers. I'm not sure if there's, they're going to charge me for it or not, but the important thing is I got my bank card back and uh, 
I don't know if we're going to make it over to the French concession because uh, I'm still catching my breath, but I'm still going to try to head over to the uh, to the to the uh, World Financial uh, Center Tower and go up there and check out that view. But some of the other things I may have to cut short today because uh, it's been one crazy day and I've got some Chinese shysters chasing. Just a quick tip, if anyone asks you for tea or coffee, do not go. They will try to swindle you out of your money. Also, there's no such thing as nice girls in Shanghai. They're all just looking for somebody to buy them, take them shopping. So those are a couple of quick tips for Shanghai. Nighttime in Shanghai. Wow, what a beautiful city. That's the Shanghai World Financial Center Tower right there where we're going to be at shortly. top of the Shanghai World Financial Center Observatory and it did not disappoint. This might be the best view I've ever seen. It's, it's incredible. So enjoy these shots. it Shanghai hope you guys enjoyed another episode of the China 2012 blog next stop Beijing <laughs>